right, so let's take a look at the map quality. This is the Garmin, you know, you've seen it before, the Garmin Phoenix. We walk into the sunlight here. It's going to auto scroll. There's my steps. And in just a second, okay, battery life. I can go for another 50 hours. We have total time, heart rate, and come on, show me the map. I thought I would like auto scroll, not so much. There we go. Look at that map detail. That's just gorgeous. And now Koros. So the screen visibility is good. And if I long press, there we go. Now I can scroll. Do you hear that bird? Hello, bird. Hello. Hi, bird. And this is the Samsung Ultra. Hi. We have Find My Phone, Wi-Fi, scroll, scroll. Okay, map setting, no. Ah, now I have to go all the way back. Map. Oh, so we have a line. And then I can zoom in or zoom out. That's kind of cool. I can see that that's the Provo River. Let's see if we walk over there. Will it tell us that we're right over the river? I think that's a good test. And we can still hear that cool bird. Ooh, shops at the Riverwood. Oh, that's a lot of ice, a lot of ice. Yeah, that's pretty much showing us we are right on the river. That's pretty accurate. Now as far as tracking back and all that stuff, Garmin wins, hands down. Garmin's been doing GPS mapping on handhelds and wrists and wrist watches and smart watches for so much longer. But hey, in another year or two, Koros might come up Koros definitely wins, hands down, against a Mazfit T-Rex 2, a Mazfit Falcon, but any Phoenix 6, Phoenix 7, the Garmin Enduro, the Garmin Enduro 2, the Garmin Epix, actually wait, the Garmin Enduro 2, the first Garmin Enduro, not so much. The map stuff was just the squiggly lines, so I hope that answers a lot of questions. And now we have the fun part after the workout. So we have that squiggly line right there. That's 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 all we're seeing. Hiking guy, RPE, okay. Max heart rate, average heart rate, a graph, elevation gain, elevation loss, calories, total time seven hours. That's because I started it before work, and then ended it after work. And then I can see laps. Are you sure you want to? No, 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 I don't want to delete the activity. Oh, I thought I had laps selected I was deleting. So, can we look at the data further? No, we can't. So what about recovery time? So we'll scroll through here. We have calories, steps, floors, running performance. There's fatigue. Data is unavailable after running outdoors for one week. So I've had the watch almost, well, yeah, about a week. But apparently, I still need to run a lot, lot more. It's not taken into consideration the swim workouts, that I've been sleeping with it, that I've done a ton of walking with it, that I've done weightlifting. Hmm. And now with Garmin, we do have this fun thing right here where we can resume later. Koros has that, back to start. So if I do back to start, so now I'm using track back. 
It's loading the maps, and I don't have the phone with me. And that's the detail that it gives, and it shows that I'm 23 kilometers away. Very cool. And then if I long press, I can do pan, zoom, I can do around me, I can save the location, stop the course, stop course, yes. And it shows me my battery life during the workout. Oh, oh, it's talking to me. That's nice. So now I can stop. And then I'll put the watch back on. Come on, stop. There we go. And we're going to do recovery HR, which is something that Chorus hasn't really showed me yet. For one reason or another, not, for, for one reason or another, the uh, recovery heart rate didn't work. Let's take a look at the workout. Pretty cool. So we just go save. Full button navigation. Both Koros and this Garmin have full button navigation. Ascent. Nice graph. Elevation. Different than Koros. 96 average HR. Heart rate zones. Aerobic. Ah, there we go. Recovery. 19 hours. There's the big difference. And yes, I have had this for many more weeks, but even within the first week or so, it was already giving me a recovery time based upon the last few days. It doesn't require weeks of data. So I'm wondering how close the recovery is gonna be once Koros has enough data about me. I think I need another 200 minutes of exercise before it really knows. So it's saying I'm in recovery. Productive training status, acclimation, 1400 meters, and that's it. And then the fun thing is, even though I exit the workout, I can scroll down and then see my recovery time again. I just love this part of new rec Well, it's a 2015. It's not that new, but watch this. So now I turn off the ignition. Trip 21, fuel economy, hey, 30.2, range. Almost 400 miles. Just the coolest thing. I, I've never had that in a car, and it's it's so much fun. And thus ends another day wearing the Garmin and the Koros. I'm really tired. It's either the end of day two or the end of day three, and um, all the stats are recorded. We'll check those later but I have to record the flights of stairs because uh, they don't appear to be in the app for Koros. Let's take a look. So that's my HRV just now and the HRV index on Koros. And we have the stats, 6,248, 10 flights of stairs, okay. Yeah, I can't click on that like I can the steps, so it doesn't. I can't go back and look at yesterday. Let's take a look at calories. Six ten. All right. And then Garmin. And this is the Garmin Phoenix, by the way. Oh, touches disabled in sleep mode. So there's the heart rate info. Oh, what is that? That's a small font. One hundred six. So the lowest of the day was 60, 106 was the highest. Yeah, it was a pretty uh, chill day. So let me scroll down, steps 8,315, flights of stairs 21.